I've been running a campaign for president of the, of the United States for what, like three months. And I haven't received a single email from someone wanting to help or anything like that. Um, I haven't received an email about write in candidate uh, requirements. You have to, okay, in, 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 in 43 states, you have to register as a write in candidate. Even if you win, it doesn't matter if you aren't registered. But in Iowa, you don't have to register. But I didn't get any votes in Iowa. And in Nevada, you're not even allowed to write in a candidate's name, which tells me that Nevada is unconstitutional. Like, it, it, or their laws are unconstitutional because anything that um, thwarts an election, like that's, that's I mean, but, but the, the, the reality is that most people that are running for president are going to have money. And they're going to have campaign staff that, hey, guys, can you go register me to be a write-in candidate in your state? Um, they, they, could, they could ask them to do that for them. Because think about it. Like, for me, I have to go fill out 50 applications now to be president of the United States. Well, 43 or something like that. Just so that people can write my freaking name down. But in, 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 in modern society, you would think you would have a touchscreen with checkboxes for candidates that are available and then write in and then you get, you, you can type it in. And if someone's already written in that name, then it's going to be in like a, 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 a drop down box of suggested names. So as it's kind of like in Google, when you search for something, it predicts what you want to say, like in, in, in a future voting machine, like, because all these election laws were written when everything's a paper ballot, but I'm talking about, um, everything's digital, but it prints out your paper ballot. Like here, here, here's your, here's your JSON object. And here's the hash. Like that would be, that is going to be stored in, 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 in someone else's vote, which is, is basically a bunch of votes. That's, I say it's a vote, but it's, it's who you voted for, for everything. So, I mean, in, in modern society, you would think that we would be able to use like this Microsoft program that's open source that everyone can read the code. Could they, if they wanted to add my program onto it very easily, but not that easily because of the ordering of like when people vote, but you have to think about it. You could still be anonymous because no, um, I went to my grocery store and voted. Why? Cause all you needed was an ID. Cause we have a database. It's not like we only like, we're, 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 we're super strict about voting rules. Um, as long as you have your ID, like going to the grocery store would be great. Or you go to the library, even when it's not voting time. And then you just go, Oh, well, well, what do you normally do while you're at work? Well, I, I sit here and, and check people out and I read books. Well, um, the voting machine's pretty much explanatory. It's right there. Um, but I'm, all I'm saying is we could have a lot of voting machines available in a lot of places and we can make voting a lot easier because, I mean, pretty much with, with a blockchain idea, can you vote with just your phone? Yeah, like you just take a picture of your two forms of identification. I mean, it, it, uh, like along with you next to your ID, I mean, lo next to your, your bill that has your address on it or something like that, next to your birth certificate, if, if, if you want to vote that way. You know, that's a lot of forms of ident identification and then you just send it in because really like how much better is your phone at knowing you than the guy at the polling place or the woman at the polling place? No, no one at the polling place actually knows you probably unless you're in a smaller community. All I'm saying is, um, we can make voting way easier and way fairer and, 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 and w I mean, because nowadays it's not like, Oh darn, we got write-in candidates. It's like, okay. Uh, how hard is it for a computer to accumulate the number of, of candidates with that name and then also variations on that name in case someone spelled John, J-O-N, instead of J-O-H-N, J-O-H-N. But I'm just saying, what, I'm, what I was actually thinking is no one wants to join me in trying to save the planet the way that I want to save the planet. Like with, with like a, a, an approach to global warming that's like oil, reduce oil consumption, like, and no one else kind of appreciates the way that I, um, see international relations at all. I mean, apparently the internet doesn't know I exist. 
Um, cause I don't, I don't want to run for president by myself because I feel like running for president is going to be like filling out forms. And then like, I mean, geez, it's like, I, I it's bad enough. I'm already, I'm applying for jobs right now, but it's like, you need to decide, uh, are you going to apply for jobs when you're a 34 year old man going on 35 before I become president? Uh, I need to go apply for jobs so I can have a life because I'm, I mean, dude, seriously, I, I need a life. But then I also apparently need to go apply to get to be a writing candidate for president. Like when I'm not even going to be considered in primaries because we have like a pretty much a two two party system that has become on unconstitutional because the, the parties are so dominant. Like the people like Nancy Pelosi, they are so dominant be, that, that they, they will overthrow the Constitution. Oh, I love the Constitution. Trust me. I, I Trust me. I love the Constitution. Let me tell you about how much I love the Constitution. Every day, I'll talk to you about how much I love the Constitution. You know you break the Constitution. And that's the thing. Like, when you have judges that are appointed by the same people, like, people that somehow, somehow are connected to the Kennedy somehow. Because, man, you want to talk about a lot of jobs that sure seems to went, that went to Catholic people that are like connected to the Kennedys. And, and then, and then like, but with Obama, it was like a, a way more diverse coalition, but he's still a Harvard person. So it's just the same Harvard crap. But I mean, I don't know. Maybe I feel like the federal government is a lot more complex. Uh, the employment, because it's, there are a lot of people that are employed and, and it is kind of a meritocracy. I, I feel like, if you're talented, you go to a good, really good college. It matters, but I don't know.